there are several resources that make up the commissioning team. In addition to the commissioning manager who leads the overall commissioning program, there are key discipline leads such as electrical leads or mechanical leads or automation leads that lead specific areas of the commissioning program. The consultant subject matter experts will be involved to oversee commissioning and startup of the plant processes. Contractors, vendor representatives, and owner representatives will also form part of the commissioning team. An important group you will want to make sure is part of the commissioning team is the operating staff. They are the group that will continue operating and maintaining the new plant processes and have the most vested interest in the successful commissioning and startup of the new plant. And most important of all, make sure that you define the roles and responsibilities of each team member. Everybody needs to have a clear expectation of what is required of them and the role that they play on the project so that there is no overlap in expectations and that all roles are fulfilled. This is one of the topics covered in my three-day mini course on commissioning and startup. To get started with the full course, please go to commissioningandstartup.com where you can sign up for free. My name is Paul Turner and I want to help you survive and thrive in your commissioning career.